Shabbat Shalom everyone. It is such a joy and pleasure to welcome you all here to Temple Shetikva as we come here together to celebrate Shabbat and to celebrate two young people becoming a young man and a young woman. Today's Shabbat service in many ways is over two years in the making for Alex who's been waiting for this moment since March of 2020 and yet here we are. And for Cami, who's been on this journey towards this moment to enter into her bat mitzvah as well, for both of you, our hearts are filled with joy that we get to celebrate you two becoming adults in the midst of this community. And for both of you to have one another side by side for this moment, I hope makes it that much more special. This will be a memory that you share and can look back on in years to come. For those of you who are here in person, we hope that you took a copy of the Siddur Mishkan Tefillah when you entered into the sanctuary. We hope that you'll join in with us, pray with us, sing with us. It's always much more fun when you take part. To those of you who are watching at home, you can sing as loud as you like. Please do participate as well. And this afternoon service is somewhat of a hybrid, not just with the camera and being here in person, but just in terms of the prayers that we'll be following. It's a pseudo afternoon morning mix of a Shabbat service so that we can really honor Alex and Cami and all of the work that they've done to reach this moment. And so with that in mind, I'm going to invite them both up to the Bimmer, together with Lenore and Ken Letts for the presentation of their Talit. <clears throat> Alex and Cami, in a moment, the talit will be placed on each of your shoulders. You'll note the fringes on the corners, the knots, if you will. They stretch back, symbolic of our people's history, and stretch forward with you taking your place as the latest link in that chain. And so as we place the talitot on your shoulders, we don't talk about being wrapped in the talit. We talk about being embraced by the talit. Whenever you feel it, whenever you wear it and feel it on your shoulders, feel the warm embrace of your family, of your temple shittik, the community, of the Jewish people. And so I'm going to invite you both now to recite the blessing for wearing the talit. Baruch Hata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kedoshanu B'mitzvotav, V'tzivanu Lehi Atev Batzitzi. Amen. 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 And with Amen. that, you have completed your first mitzvah as adult members of our community. So Ken and Lenore, we're going to invite you to take a seat back in the community. But Alex and Cami don't go anywhere because we're going to continue with our service turning to page 185. On page 185, we find the prayer Ashrei. And Ashrei means happiness. Happy are those who dwell in your house. 
and it took two years perhaps to get to this moment, but we feel that sweetness radiating from within. So let's take a second to fully arrive. Wherever you are, at home watching on live stream or here with us in person, close your eyes and take three deep breaths and feel the glow of the sweetness of this moment really settle on you. Close your eyes and three breaths to arrive in this happiness. As we open our eyes, we invite Cami and Alex to lead us in this prayer of joy. Tehila le David, Arumima Elohaya Mela, Avarha Shimha, the Olam Vaed, the Holy Mava Herka, the Halala Shimpal, the Olam Vaed, Gado or Night in Hulu, the Old Liduato and Heke, Doyle Doy Shabbat Mahatseha, who would a Tahayagi do, Hatar Kivod Hodeha, Vedivre Niflo Teha, Asiha, the Zeus Nora Tahayomeru, who do that Hasa Prenha. Zikhotcha <laughs> Uchevod hadar malhuto Malhutecha malhute ko olamim Omim shalteha behol dor vador So me hadanai la kona no flim Viso hef le ho hakfu fim Enecho alachai isa beru Vatat no tain lachem et ochlam beito Hotel hetel dechal masbi le ho hai ratso Sadiq Adonai Bechol Dirachav, Ve'asid Bechol Ma'asav. Karov Adonai Lechol Korav, Lechol Asher Yikra'u Ve'emet. Ritzon Yire'av Ya'aseh, Ve'et Shav Atam Mishma Ve'yoshi'em. Shomer Adonai Et Kolo Hava, Ve'kol Ereshahim Yashmi. Tehila Adonai Yedaber Pi, Ve'rarach Kod Basar, Shem Kod Shov Le'olam Ba'et. Anach nu nivarech ya me'atav yad olam, hallelujah. As we turn to page 194, if you'll join with me as I lead us in the Chatzik Kaddish. Yid gadal v'yid kadash shemei rabba, b'alma divrach hirutei v'yamlich malchutei, b'chaye chon uv'yom echon, Uf chaye de chol beit Yisrael, ba gala ba gala, uf isman kariv v'imaru amen. Yehesh me raba mavorach ve'alam ulal me'al maya yid barach yid barach v'yishdabach v'yid pa'av yid romam v'yid nase v'yid hada v'yid hale v'yid halal. Shmei di kudsha brichu Leila min kol birchata v'shirata Tush b'chata v'nechemata Damiran v'yalma v'imaru Amen We rise in body or in spirit on page 195 for the Baruchu, our call to prayer and we face towards the ark Barichu het Adonai hamevorach. Baruch Adonai hamevorach leolam vaed. Baruch Adonai hamevorach leolam vaed. If you'll please be seated. As we turn to page 200 and our prayer of Shema. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kivod, 
As we turn now to page 205, when we come to our Amida, I'm going to invite Cami and Alex to rejoin their family in the midst of the community. The Amida is the central prayer in all of our services, and so we rise now in body or in spirit, facing towards the east for the Amida on page 205. Adonai sifatai tiftach, ufi agite hilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohei avoteinu v'imoteinu, Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leha, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor v'hanorva, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vezocher Chastirvot Vimachot, Ume Vigeula Livne Venehem, Liman Shemo Beahava, Melech Ozer Moshiom again, Baruch Adonai, Magin Avraham, Vezrat Sarah, Atagi Borle Olam Adonai, Mechayhe meitim atar rav lehoshiha Morit hatah Mechalkel chayim bechesed Mechayhe meitim berachamim rabim Somech noflim denofech holim Umatir asudim Umekayem emunato Lishene afar Mihamocha bal givud vot, umi do melach, melech me mi to mechai he, umat me ach yeshua, venemana taleha he hot me team, baruchat adonai, mechai ham he team. We continue silently now with our own private amida, using the words of our hearts or the words of the page through until 219. At the conclusion of your prayers, please feel free to be seated.
At the heart of our service is the Torah and the Torah service. During this part of our service, this will be the formal moment when Alex and Cami are called up by their Hebrew names, becoming a bar and a bat mitzvah. And we begin that Torah service by passing the Torah through the generations. And so as we prepare for that, it's my pleasure to call up Lenore and Ken, Amy and Lonnie and Josh, together, of course, with Alex and Cami, And for the honor of opening the ark, Noah and Lucas Blucher, we rise in body or in spirit on page 246 in our Siddurim. and Cami, because there are two of you, we will be using two Torah scrolls in a moment. And so we'll be passing one after the other down through the generations to you. And so today, on this day, as you become a bar and a bat mitzvah, you receive this Torah as a gift, as an inheritance, as your birthright, something that you are always destined to take hold of. And you receive it from the generations who've got, come here before, passed down through that chain grandparents, parents to you. And when you take hold of the Torah, the important thing to remember is that it's not supposed to live behind the curtain, behind closed doors. It's supposed to live in each of you, in the way that you live your life, in the way that you relate to others, in the example that you set in following its lessons. Today, you take your place in that chain that goes all the way back to Moses at Sinai. And I know that for Cantolis and myself, it is such a joy and pleasure to be able to pass this Torah to you through the generations. On behalf of us, your clergy, on behalf of this Temple Shir Tikva community, and on behalf of all the Jewish people. And so first, we're going to pass the Torah to Alex, and then we're going to take the other Torah out to give to Cami.
for our Torah readings this morning, we are playing a little bit of catch up in terms of what we'll be reading. So, as you will recall, we mentioned that Alex's bar mitzvah was originally scheduled for March. And so in March, we are reading from the book of Vayikra of Leviticus. And Josh has asked that at this moment in the service, just as a reminder, gray kipot, gray yarmulkes right now for Alex and his Torah reading. And uh, Alex is reading from the very beginning of the book of Vayikra, at the beginning as we enter into the sacrificial laws. And Alex, one of the things that's special to me is that you and I will always have the same Torah portion as our be mitzvah Torah portions, because many, many, many years ago, it was Vayikra that I read when I became a bar mitzvah. And so we share this special link. But before Alex chanced us from the Torah, we are going to invite him up to share with us words of his drush, his Devar Torah, to teach us about his Torah portion. And so, Alex, if you'll join Cantor Hollis and myself up here on the bimmer. I'm, I'm glad all of you could make it here today. We may have been two years late, but at least we're here together. I would like to thank my sister for sharing this day and congratulate her on doing such an amazing job on everything so far. Also, I would like to thank Rabbi Danny Cantor Hollis and especially Gwen, and most importantly, I would like to thank my dad for ending this whole thing twice. <laughs> my Torah portion is Vayikra from the book of Leviticus, and the main thing it talks about is the sacrificing of animals. In it, God told Moses that whenever the Israelites gave an offering of cattle, they would choose it from the herd of cows or flock of sheep or goats. A male that is in perfect condition should be brought to the entrance of the tent of meeting and sacrificed to make up for a sin that the person had done wrong. They would go through the ritual of slaughtering, cleaning, cutting up, and cooking the animal that was being offered up to God. They could also bring a turtle dove or pigeon as a sacrifice. As I was reading my Torah portion, it made me think, why are the Israelites offering stuff up to God? They offered sacrifices because they thought it would make God like them. They thought if they brought sacrifices to God, that things like farming would go well, because they thought God would help keep the weather good for farming. They had to bring a perfect animal. What defines perfect? Is anything really perfect? For the purposes of animal sacrifices, a perfect animal meant without any injuries or defects. But how can anything really be perfect? When I hear the word perfect, I have this stressful feeling held above me. It hangs there and makes me feel the need to be perfect. I don't like it. Instead of feeling the stressful need to be perfect, I want to feel that exactly how I am is perfect, not that there is this perfection that I'm chasing, just that I already am perfect however I am. I constantly feel that I need to be perfect in everything and feel that I need to come to terms with the idea that perfection isn't real. Even people pound it in your head all the time. Even writing this drosh, I felt the need to be perfect. Now, but now reading it aloud to you all, I realize that it is great the way it is. I could have done a bit more here and there, but don't we all think we could do a bit more on things in life? Like I learned from my Torah portion, I will try to let go of that stress-chasing feeling and try to live with how I am perfect. So as we mentioned, Alex is chanting to us from the beginning of the Torah portion of Vayikra, Leviticus. And for the first Aliyah, it's my pleasure to call up Lenore and Ken Letts, Jody and Mark Blucher. Yamdu Lea Shifra Bat Yaakov Vasilka, Kalman Shmuel Ben Label Varifka, Yudit Shulamit Bat Kalman Shmuel Velea Shifra, Moshe Label Aliyah Ta Torah. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, 
share bakar banu mi kohami, venatan manu et torto, barok ata benai, no tain ha torah. Amen. Vai kra al Moshe, vai da bear Adonai, a love, me a helmo aid, lay more. Da bear al benay, Israel, ve marta alehem, Adam, ki a cleave, me cam, horban, la Adonai, mean ha behema, mean ha bakar, u mean ha son. Ta krivu et korban ham im ola korbano min habakar zachar tamim ya krivenu el peta o hel mo eid ya kriv o to lit so no lit ne adonai. And so hugs from grandparents, uncle and aunt. And as in a moment, Alex is going to be formally called up to become Bar Mitzvah by his Hebrew name. I'm going to invite Josh to come stand with him as he chants this and is called up by Cantolis in just one moment. Nalamod, 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 Yitzchak Yisrael, mi beit Yaakov tzvi v'rish characho, l'aliyala Amen. Amen. Aharon Hakohanim et Adam Vizarku et Adam Alchemis Bea Saviv Asher Peta Ohelmo Eid et we read et Ola Runita Ota Linta Hera. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu meholam, Asher nathalanu Torah emet, Vehei yeolam nata betolcheinu, Baruch ata Adonai, Noten ha Torah. Amen. So big hug from Dad, and Yasha Koach, Alex, you've uh, chanted your Torah. We're going to invite you to return to the community to take a seat. And so at this point, as Kami's Torah portion comes from the book of Bamidbar, we will be switching Torah scrolls, but not formally lifting and dressing, because we do that at the conclusion of the Torah service. On Shabbat in the afternoon, we make the transition to the next week's Torah portion. So this is the first time this year that we're hearing the Torah portion of Bahalotcha, which is taken from the book of Numbers from Bamidbar. 
And so Cammy's going to be chanting to us from that Torah portion. But before we call her up, most importantly, Yarmulke Kippa changing time. Gray now to purple, as we now call Cammy up to share with us the words of her Devar Torah, her drush, before she'll chant to us from the Torah itself. Thank you for coming to my bat mitzvah. I would like to thank family and friends for coming in from out of town, and I would like to especially thank my dad for everything and my brother for sharing this occasion with me. Also, I would like to thank Rabbi Danny, Cantor Hollis, and Gwen for getting me to this moment. My Torah portion is named Bechlo Techa, and it is featured in the book of Bami Debar. The story of my Torah portion is that people are complaining to God, and God gets very angry. So God sends a fire against the people. The people go to Moses to see if he can stop the fire, so Moses prayed and the fire stopped. The riffraffs in Tabor were hungry and complained that there is no meat to eat. They remembered all the good food from Egypt and complained more that their goats are shriveled with nothing to eat. While they were in the wilderness, God provided manna to eat. The people gathered it, grinded it between millstones, pouted it, it to mortar and boiled it in a pot and made it into cakes. They collected it every morning. Moses heard the people weeping. God was very angry and Moses was distressed. Moses complained about having to deal with all the people. The people asked how they can get meat to eat. Moses said that he can't take care of all the people. It is too much for him. Just like the manna, if I ate cookies every day, I would get tired of it and not want cookies anymore. But even that I got cookies every day, I would still be grateful for the food. But the people were not grateful. They were being very ungrateful for the food they got. When the people were being ungrateful, they should have handled it differently. They could have done that by saying for the food that they thought they were not enough. It's just like when you get a gift, you should be grateful for it even if you do not like it. The moral of the story is always be grateful for what you get and don't forget to eat the cookie. Today, I am grateful to everyone for being here and celebrating this day with me. So Cami will be chanting to us from the beginning of chapter 11, verse 1 in the book of Numbers. And for her first aliyah, it's my pleasure to call up Amy and Lonnie and Josh, Rose. Ya'amdu nachama bat Yaakov, Mordechai Eliezer ben Yitzchak Ya'el ve'etel gisa, Yaakov Tzvi ben Mordechai Eliezer v'chana liba, laliyat ha-Torah. Amen. So, hugs and kisses. Ty. And we're going to ask Josh to stay up by Cammy's side as she is formally called up by Cantaholis 
by her Hebrew name. Baruch Adonai Hamavarat Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Mela Ha'olam Asher Bahar Banu Mikol Ha'amim V'natan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen V'asaf Suf Asher Bekir Bo Hidavu Ta'ava Va'if Shuvu Va'if Ku Come, Bene Israel, Vayam Ru, Miyahi Lenu, Basar. Zacharnu et Hadaga, Asher no hal, Bumitraim, Hinam, E Hakishuim, Ve E Haavatahim, Ve E Hechazer, Ve E Habitalim, Ve E Hashumim, Ve Ata Navshenu, Ve Vesha Enko. Beauty of Haman, a nainu. Baruchat Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher natan lanu Torah emet, vechaye olam natan b'toheinu. Baruchat Adonai, notein ha Torah. Amen. Big hug. And so, Cami, we're going to invite you and your dad to take your seat back amongst the community. As we come now to the lifting and the dressing of the Torah, it's my pleasure to call up for the honor of lifting the Torah, Debbie and Bill Vose, and for the honor of opening the ark for us to return the Torah, Jordan and Macy Blucher. We rise in body or in spirit. Yamdu hamagbiyavahagolelet. We invite you to return to the community, and if you'll all please be seated. At this point, it's my pleasure to call up Josh, Alex, and Cami to join Kant Olis and myself on the Bima.
And from this point forward in the service, whichever yarmulke, kippah you choose to wear is fine, colours notwithstanding. So Alex and Cammy, if you can face towards me with your dad behind you. I want both of you to take a deep breath. You did it. We got to this moment, and it is such a pleasure, a privilege, and a joy for Cantor Hollis and I to be standing up here with you as you become a bar and a bat mitzvah. Alex, it's been a slightly longer journey to get to this moment than we normally anticipate, but both of you have been on this journey from the moment that you were born, following in your parents' footsteps to become adult members of the Jewish community. Both of you did a wonderful job in the way that you recited your prayers, taught us with your drush, and chanted from the Torah. I hope that this day will inspire you to continue on your Jewish journey and to rise up to whatever challenges are placed before you. It hasn't been easy getting to this moment, but you did get here. And I hope it's also a reminder that sometimes the best things are really worth waiting for. And in the future, the fact that you did this together, supporting one another, I hope that this will be one of many, many joyful occasions when you'll stand by each other's side to give each other that strength and support to face whatever lies ahead. Alex, in your Dvar Torah, I love the way in which you consider the need to be perfect. We have a blessing in the religious school that we say that says, I'm perfect the way I am and a little broken too. Each one of us carries a bit of brokenness inside ourselves, but that doesn't mean that we are not perfect just the way we are. Alex, you are a perfect Alex Rose, and that is all you should ever be aspiring to be. I hope that you will hear the words of your Dvar Torah learning to let go of the stress and the drive to perfection and to recognize that often things are really good enough. Perhaps one of the reasons we no longer have sacrifices is because it set before us an unrealistic ideal and a lesson that we should not be striving for some external perfection, but rather strive to be happy, strive to be satisfied with who you are and with what you can achieve because it will be wonderful. And Kami, in your Dvar Torah, I love the way in which you reflected on the Israelites in the wilderness and their lack of gratitude for the manna that they were receiving. In our lives, it is so easy to take things for granted and to forget about the need to be thankful for all that we receive, from the most extravagant gifts to the most everyday occurrences. We recite blessings each day for the most mundane things to allow us to reframe the way in which we see them and to approach everything every moment with gratitude. Cami, as you have taught us today, we need to be grateful for what we have and to appreciate the blessings in our lives no matter how small they may seem. And the amazing thing is, is that when you approach the world through the lens of gratitude, it also encourages you to help others and to share the love and blessings so that others will also benefit. Both of you have lots of different passions and interests, be it gymnastics and TikTok, or cars and being part of the, um, the drama group and you're in your school. What I want you to keep hold of is to follow your passions wherever they might take you. They'll be different at different stages of your life, but life is that much more meaningful and joyful when we're doing the things we love and when just as you are on this day, looking out at this community, surrounded by the people that you love and love you. Alex and Cami, on this way, Keep recognizing that you are both perfect, possessing everything that you need to triumph and succeed. Keep an attitude of gratitude, being thankful for the gifts, both large and small, that life presents. And keep pursuing your dreams and passions, knowing that whatever they may be, however they may change, they will always make life that much more joyful than it would otherwise be. And so as we wish you Mazel Tov on this moment, Josh, I'm going to ask you to open the ark by pulling the string just on the side. And if you can rise in body or in spirit. And Cami and Alex step forward to stand right in front of the ark, right up facing it, facing the Torah scrolls. And Josh, if you can stand behind them and place your hands on their shoulders. Cantor Hollis and I now have the privilege and the honor of offering you the priestly blessing but we really do it on behalf of your parents, on behalf of this community, on behalf of all the Jewish people.
May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you always and be gracious to you. And may God lift up God's face to you, look upon you this day and every day, and give you always the blessing of peace. And let us say, Amen. Amen. And so Alex, Cammy, and Josh, turn around, face the community that is filled with so much love for you. As we do on all joyful occasions, we offer a Shech Yanu blessing for reaching this moment, this milestone. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam, Shech Yanu, Vikimanu, Vigyanu, Lazman Hazem. We're going to invite you to return to the community as we remain standing and we turn to page 282 in our Sidorim as we continue with the words of the Aleinu. Aleinu le Shabbat Ladon Hakol, La Tate Kidula Leotse Brishit, Shalawa Sano Kegoye Haratsot, Philo Samanu Kemish Pochot Adama, Shalo Sam Hel Kenu Kaham. As we turn to page 294 in our Siddurim, we never conclude a service without sacred memory, remembering those loved ones who were here before. On behalf of the family this Shabbat, we remember Randy Rose, Sylvia and George Ruderman, Rebecca and Louis Letts, Ethel and Irving Rose, Louis Katz, Marvin Katz, Helen and Bill Goodkind, Harvey Gelber, Blanche and Oliver Rombach, Jean and David Ellen Bogan. If there are other names that people are remembering, please share them now as I look around the room. As we think of all of those who live on in our hearts, we say together, Yid Gadal Vid Kadash Shemei Rabba. Amen. Be'al ma di v'rach yirutei v'yamlich malchutei. V'chayachon v'yomechon v'chayei d'chol Beit Yisrael. Ba'galau v'izman kariv v'imru. Amen. Yehei Shemei Rabba m'vorach la'olam olmei al-maya. Yid barach v'ishtabach v'yid pa'a v'yitromam v'yid naseh. V'yitada v'yitale v'yitalal Shemei d'kudsha b'richu. Laela min kol birchata v'shirata, tush birchata v'nechemata, 
Dami ran pa alma ve imru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya ve chayim aleinu ve al kol Yisrael ve imru amen. O se shalom bimramav hu ya se shalom aleinu ve al kol Yisrael ve imru amen. Zichron nam livracha. May their memories always be for a blessing. And let us say, Amen. Amen. So as I invite our community to be seated, if I could call Alex and Cammie to come up onto the bimmer one more time. So Alex and Cammie, look out at this community and just appreciate the fact you guys did it. So we can enjoy <laughs> and appreciate this moment. We have there two envelopes with certificates for you. The certificates, one of them recognizes you becoming a bar and a bat mitzvah and all the hard work and effort that went into reaching this moment. And the other is from NIFTI, the National Federation of Temple Youth, which is our communal youth movement. And it's towards part of the cost to a trip to Israel because we recognize that as sweet as this day is, we can make it that little bit sweeter by sending you on a trip to our people's homeland to experience all the joys that Israel has. And finally, on behalf of the board of Temple Shir Tikva, it is my pleasure to present you both with a Kiddush cup. We hope that you will use this Kiddush cup on all joyful occasions throughout your life, that it will be a reminder of this moment when you stood here together on our Bimmer and became members of the adult members of our community, a way to celebrate this day and every day your Jewish identities. And so I'm going to invite you to face out towards the community as we turn to page 321. We rise in body or in spirit thank for you. our closing song on Fadon Olam. And we thank Vivian Montgomery for your beautiful music and John Legg for helping us with all of our techniques as we sing. Adon Olam Hashem Alta Viterem Koyitzinifra Let Nasar Vichatzokol Azayim Elech Shemoni Shabbat Shalom and Mazel Tov!